on the Health Watch this morning, living in the Sunshine State. You know, it makes us more susceptible to skin cancer. It's just a fact of life here in Florida, which means we all need to be more vigilant. Thankfully, skin checks are known lifesavers. So here's how you can be the first line of defense. I've had melanomas and uh, squamous. John Colonna is a boat captain who says he spent his entire life in the sun, often unprotected from damaging ultraviolet rays. I'll put it this way, the melanomas can, and, or can go into, the, if they get into the lymphatic system, well, then you can say, your, say goodbye. And after having, I'm five years out from a double lung transplant and doing wonderful, you don't want to mess up now. And that's why this skin cancer survivor doesn't miss an appointment with double board certified dermatologist, Dr. Elise Julian. So the good news is, is that the vast majority of skin cancers are easily treatable. Hopefully you can avoid that step with early detection. So I decided to get a skin check. What is that red spot right there? That's called a cherry angioma. It's normal. We do get them with a little bit more wisdom. So they, you're going to probably get a little bit more. Is that your nice word that's for my, age? <laughs> that's my nice word for <laughs> age, wisdom. yes. It only takes about 15 minutes. And yes, these paper robes are as comfortable as they look. It's not uncommon to find skin cancers actually in the scalp people are unaware of. Research shows the part line in your hair is at an increased risk due to exposure. You look at all your moles on your face and open your mouth really wide. Perfect. You might be surprised you can get skin cancer in your mouth, behind your eyes, and even in your private areas that are not exposed to the sun. So I'm looking for the pigment. I'm checking to see if there's any increased vasculature or abnormal pigment deposits. You can actually spot some of these yourself, which could save your life. The American Academy of Dermatology has created the ABCDEs of melanoma as a guide. A is for asymmetry. Check to see if half of the spot is unlike the other half. B is for border. Is the shape irregular? C is for color. Does it vary in color? D is for diameter. Melanomas are usually larger than a pencil eraser. E is for evolving. Is it changing in size, shape, or color? So I always tell my patients that if you have something new on your skin that you think is an injury, a pimple, a bug bite, but it's not healing, so it's going for several weeks, maybe even a month, and it hasn't gone away, that's another thing to bring to your doctor's attention. And what about this white spot right here? That's called idiopathic gut tight hypomelanosis, and that is due to sun damage. And while it's not cancer, it's also not something that's going away, which is a reminder that even if sun damage isn't deadly, it can be permanent. So prevention, always the best protection. Dr. Julian recommends sunscreen with a minimum SPF of 30. That is water resistant for 80 minutes and to reapply often every two hours while in sunlight. And Dr. Julian joins us live at 7 as we stream on our CBS News Miami app and on CBS Miami or CW Miami 33. She's going to break down some of the skin cancer myths like whether skin color affects what SPF we should use. Hmm. It's really easy and so important. To so get these many skin questions checks. for her and she mentioned if you have something that won't go away, mm -hmm. won't heal, and I've got several of those, my doctor looks at them every time and goes, no, it's nothing. Well, you never know, right? Away, so, you got to stay on top of it just in case. You have to have it checked. That's mm -hmm. true.